Welcome back to Sino Page Builder. Today we are going to learn how to use the block read more element. The block read more element is a mini element which shows a button for the readers if they want to read the full blog post. In order to use the block read more element, I first need to insert a blog post element into the page. Select a blog post to show. By default, the blog post element has some mini elements inside a blog image, blog title, blog summary, and blog read more. Let me remove the default blog read more element. And then I can insert a blog read more element into the blog post. It looks like this. Let's walk through the options the blog read more element has to offer. First, I can click inside the button to change the text. Let's say continue reading. On the left hand side, I have blog post option that we can select the blog post to show. Then we can change the text color, button color. Let's say I want it to be gray. We can enable hover options so we can adjust the color when the button is hover. Let me add some transparency to the text color and button color. And you see the effect here when the button is hover. Down here, we can adjust the font font size, adjust the font weight to normal, to bold, or to light. Next, we can enable full width so the button width stretch across its pattern. If full width is off, then we can align the button to the left, to center, or to the right. We can adjust padding to change the button size. Let's say I set padding top to 24, padding bottom 24, padding left 32, and button right 32. You see, the button size is changed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and tips on mastering Xenobase Builder.